This is Ben Cornett here, Verified First. I want to walk you through how to complete a background screen through Cornerstone's platform. Uh, we start in the recruiting module and looking up all my active candidates. I find in this case Mr. Hank Mess, and we're going to click on his name. To install the extension Verified First, you go to, in my case, I'm using a Chrome browser, you go to the Google Chrome Store and install the Verified First app from the Chrome Store. Once you do that and refresh your window, if the button doesn't show up, you'll see a button here that says Screen with Verified First. Simply click on Place New Order. Our extension in this case is going to pull the information from the applicant that you have up on the page and pre-populate the needed fields for the background check. In this place, you can actually select specific packages or order background screens a la carte. If you select a la carte, it opens a window and you can select what items you need for the screen. But in most cases, users will be using predefined packages uh, for their hiring needs and roles. Once you select the package, you can go down. In this case, Hank Mess did not provide a middle name. I can put none, and we're going to put that we didn't collect the data. And of course, uh, automatically populates the email address, uh, phone number, in the event the candidate provides you the information. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my email so we can look at what the process is for the candidate. And my phone number. The phone number is really interesting to call out as it allows us to send the applicant invite via, via SMS or text message. What that does is shaves on average six, six to eight hours off the uh, return of the candidate's response. People respond to those. After I have all the information from the screen, again, if the data was in the screen on Hank Mess's candidate profile, it would have pulled into uh, Verified First. I click on Send Invite, click the Disclosures, and you'll see that we've validated phone number and email address. If they were invalid, you would see a yellow uh, mark on those. And just click on Send Invitation. This, from the HR perspective, is all you do to send the invitation. You can see that the applicant invite was sent successfully. Hank Mass gets notified. You see that in the email that I just got here. Hank Mass goes through his process. And of course, that notification is branded to your, your company's brand. Um, after Hank Mass goes through, uh, users will see that this button updated, that report is complete. They click on that. I may go into the menu and actually pull up a report uh, that's already been completed by Hank Mass, just so you can see what the report looks like. I go into Ready for Review. We'll see Hank Mess's uh, uh, application right here. I click on Hank Mess, and then I can look on the full report to make my hiring decision. I'll let that pull up. Click View Report. You can now see the entire report. With Hank Mess, you can actually see his background is maybe a little messy, and you may or may not want to re uh, hire him or her. Um, in this case, you can save the report by clicking on Download and put it into your employee files. Um, also, you can take action and approve this candidate, or of course, take pre-adverse action, and you can see those processes here. Again, it's pretty simple. Again, I never left the Cornerstone platform. It's still here. Um, I can close out of our extension that overlays that and um, continue on with my workflow. If you have any questions, give a member of our team a call at Verified First. Again, thank you for watching.